Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are a minimalist family of seven. And today I am going to be doing a clean with me. So if you wanna see that, stick around. So guys, this morning, our kids just had a good time playing and normally I would come in with them before they left for school and we would tidy everything up. But I had a few people comment and ask me if that's on our house tour, which I'll link below if you haven't seen it already. Is this how you live all the time? And like the answer is of course not, our house is not perfect. So I thought you I would show you some real life cleanup. This is what happens when you have kids who are playing and enjoying the things that they have. I'll show you hopefully to inspire you to maybe <laughs> clean along with me and um, I hope you enjoy. Hey Siri, play me the top 30 songs on shuffle. Shuffling the top 30 songs. So the first place I like to start is always my kitchen and the first thing I like to do is try and clear off all the counters as I'm going. I start by filling up my sink so that I can put dishes in that as I go and then I just work around the kitchen to clear the counters. Um, as you can see this day we had had breakfast and so there was heaps of dishes and stuff out and so we'll just work through the kitchen first. cleaned off all of my benches I just sort of work in a circular motion around the kitchen just tidying up anything I see and then I'm going to come and dry off all these dishes collecting anything that doesn't belong and putting it away. Hamish absolutely loves to wash his hands, so like a million times a day, I'm picking him up so he can wash his hands. scrubbing it down and then I will dry it off. So now I'm going to move into the living room. The first thing I do is I've got the box of Duplos out so I'm just putting all of those Duplos into the box and then you'll see me start up a small pile of stuff that just does not belong out here but belongs somewhere else in the house. Thank <laughs> you. 
I always like to keep a rubbish bag with me as I'm cleaning. That way any broken toys or things that don't belong can be put in the garbage bag straight away. It just makes it so much easier and I can just carry that with me as I clean. I absolutely love these plastic stools because I can just wipe them down after every meal and it's fantastic. This is our homework box that I'm working on now. I'm just throwing away anything that we don't need. I've taken photos of any of their schoolwork before I do this, but it just tidies everything up and I do that probably at least once or twice a week. So now I'm just straightening everything up and you can see my big pile of stuff that does not belong out here, which I'll take through to the other rooms in a minute. And then I just take a clean microfiber cloth that is very slightly damp and I just wipe down all the chairs and just get off any little marks that might be there. And I also like to brush all the microfiber one way. So now I'm just going to sweep and I'm going to put my robot vacuum on my, it's doing a spot clean on my rug. Normally I would run the robot vacuum through the whole house when I'm leaving, but because I was going to be home and I wanted to mop all in one session, I just quickly put him on to do the rug while I swept the floors and then I will mop them in a moment. I absolutely love my steam mop. It's the Vax brand and it actually comes apart so that you can use it to disinfect things if you want to using the steam. But I've used a lot of different kinds of mops and this one I just find absolutely the best for leaving your floors not sticky, not too wet. They're almost dry immediately and they also get all of the dirt and grime off the floors so for me this is fantastic I usually mop at least twice a week and sometimes more often in those high use areas like under Hamish's high chair and under the dining room table So now we're moving on to the kids' room and we're just putting away toys. Hamish pulled out a huge puzzle, so Winnie is just helping me collect all the toys, pack them away. Um, as you can see, we haven't made their beds yet and Winnie will give me a hand with that also. Those quilt covers that I have on their beds, they are fantastic if your kids are learning how to make their bed because they're all in one, like the blanket and the cover is all sewn together. I can wash the whole thing and it means that they can make their beds really nicely um, and really easily for kids. So I highly recommend those. The ones that they have on their bed at the moment, I just got from Big W. The double was like $20 and the single was $10. So they were really affordable and they're great for kids especially because we don't live anywhere very hot, cold um, they're just the perfect weight for our climate
the girls room I have a Scentsy warmer and I'm just going to put this on. It's just my favorite thing to do once I'm finished cleaning is to make it smell nice. This is what I'm using now is called Newborn Nursery. It's one of my favorite scents. It smells like fresh and I love it. Now I'm just moving on into our bedroom and I'm just tidying up all of the colouring things and any toys and things that don't belong. As you can see, I've brought the basket with me and any of that stuff that didn't belong from out in the lounge room, I'm just putting that away as I move around the house so I'm not touching things multiple times and going into multiple rooms. We stand in here to the stars align. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Hope you enjoyed this video and I will if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below so here's the after of all of the rooms fresh and clean